Welcome back to Sri Lanka in the craziness of Colombo. Uh, we're only here for a day without a plan whatsoever. We're gonna try. Wandering markets. <laughs> um, we're gonna try to give you at the end some tips on how to effectively travel to Sri Lanka. And that's it. Let's see how Colombo looks like. the case in these religious institutions of a certain type of religion she was not allowed to go in no, I can go anywhere so far Colombo I like big cities so it's I'm fine really chaotic but it's like India and she no, wants nice. she wants to do some shopping and I bought a kai this is the old Dutch hospital which used to be probably a hospital and now it's a shopping complex looks nice much different than Heta thing we do before we leave Sri Lanka we're going to a Ayurveda treatment and let's see how that looks like here the place looks good And we are home. Yes, we are. Have been for quite some time, actually, as you can see by the way we're dressed. Uh, actually, that's okay because now we have we have had time to reflect on our Sri Lanka trip. Yes. And we can say that we really liked it. But we wouldn't, but we wouldn't put it on our top five list. But okay, not everything can always be the best. But we did promise a couple of tips. Yes. For easier travel in Sri Lanka. So here's tip number one buy a local sim card yes everything will get way easier you can call you can communicate with whatsapp which locals really like to use and google maps and it's really cheap and get dialogue dialogue is way better than telecom yeah i got telecom and in the cultural triangle dead nothing but my dialogue was working fine yeah tip number two if you are on a tight schedule we really recommend getting a a driver a driver they take you around it's very inexpensive and if you need a good contact there is someone that we can rely on we'll leave a link in the description he's okay he took our friends around sri lanka and they were really satisfied with him and when we really needed a taxi <laughs> he arranged everything yeah. for, for a very good price tip number Three. If you are traveling to Asia for the first time, 
you should go to Colombo on your last day or last two days as you wish yeah. because it can be quite how should I say chaotic chaotic so if you're not used to that just save it for last because otherwise you can experience quite a bit of a culture shock number four, four. I think everyone is traveling in Sri Lanka from Colombo and Gombo cultural triangle candy down uh, to Ella and South Coast and way so and clockwise clockwise and we've discovered that it the we did it are, reverse we did reverse and there were no crowds that also meant that the train from Ella to Candy was not as crowded as from Candy to Ella. Yeah. So if you can do it counterclockwise. Yeah. Number five. five. If you have a drone, do get a permit. Yeah. Even though it took me like a correspondence of 50 emails back and forth, but it is worth it because you have a license. It's like 70 euro for a month, but be very specific with dates, locations and everything. Yes. If you need any help, just let us know in the uh, in the comments and, and we'll, we'll do you. and we'll help. Tip number 6. 6. Eat local food. Yes. Sri Lankan curries are amazing. I like them more than the Indian ones, but not as much as the Thai ones, but local food is very good and very cheap. Yeah. So do eat local. Tip number seven. seven. Quite a sensitive topic. Tea pluckers. These women, sometimes men, are. It's like modern a little slavery. Bit of a, yes. Exactly. They are not paid well and they don't earn much and they're really friendly. So if you see them in the tea plantation, just go talk to them. They love to chat. And give them some money they if, will be really grateful for pictures yeah of course of course for pictures <laughs> then also kids everywhere they asked asked us for pens but like these with a spring so because they're really hard to get in Sri Lanka and they really liked it tip number eight, eight. do not ride elephants exactly so just don't that's it. We won't we won't be long about yeah. this. Just don't. And last but not least, tip number nine. Nine. And because of the closeness to Sri Lanka, the Maldives are an excellent option to combine your trip to Sri Lanka. Yeah. Um, the tickets can be really cheap, and you can stay on a local island on the Maldives, which is also cheap. You can find more about that also here yeah. so if you're thinking about it if you think that Maldives are too expensive for you check again and if you're in Sri Lanka and you have some time left five or four nights are already enough go that's it our Sri Lanka trip yeah. so we liked it and until next time see ya see ya